Hi everybody. It's been a little while since I've gone live. It's Dr. Heather with the Junk You Should Know show. Um, uh, housed on the Well Fit and Fed page. Every week we do a little show. Now right now I'm traveling and so the Junk You Should Know show is not always at its regular time which is Friday at noon PST. You may find it at different times but you can always find it on the Well Fit and Fed page and it lives forever on our YouTube channel. The Well Fit and Fed YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked that out, head over there and subscribe. Today we are talking about some of the cultural wellness differences in Spain. And today I am in Valencia, Spain. Hello, whoever just joined. I'm in Valencia, Spain. We are just finishing up our first week and we'll be here another week. And right now we're spending some time with some friends. And hi, Chris, great to see you. And um, we're having a great time. I think uh, some of the, one of the biggest benefits of Spain is all the awesome sunshine that we get here. We, as if I live here, uh, that we get here. I'm, I'm a total local now that I've been here for a week. Um, beautiful sunshine so often, and I will tell you from our time that we have in Scottsdale, Arizona as well, it just makes people happier and nicer. So that's point number one from Wellness Secrets from Spain. Now, what are some other things? Well, one of the things I noticed that made me laugh so hard when I thought about it is um, if you told a restaurant owner in Spain about the concept of farm to table, they would just be like, what? What are you talking about, farm to table? And it's so not a thing here because every restaurant is farm to table. Every restaurant brings in fresh food every day. It's fresh catch of the day. It's fresh ham, fresh vegetables. It's local. Uh, most of the restaurants that I talk to, they are um, bringing in vegetables from the Valencia area. About 90% of their produce and fruits comes from there. And it's great because in Spain, you can grow that and then you can bring locally, which means the food does not have to travel too far. And it means that fresh fish, fresh meats, um, all come from not a long distance. And we know that when things have to travel a long distance, it's hard on our little planet. Hey, Jenny, um, it's hard on our little planet, but it's also hard on our bodies because it means it needs to be packaged or preserved or something needs to happen in order to uh, travel it for that long and so the whole idea of farm to table they just think is ridiculous and you can see why when you start eating plate after plate of completely fresh food so uh, point number three is that the other t um, thing that they have on us as far as wellness goes is that everything is whole food everything you don't not very little processed food eating I mean you see all the people every day with their little little roller shopping cart going to the market and buying a very small amount of food a baguette a few veggies a little bit of meat for that evening so they shop fresh that's another huge point that affects our bodies when we shop fresh we eat fresh um, we don't eat anything that's been sitting around for more than a few days. We don't buy for two weeks at a time. We don't be, do a big, hey Jackie, do a big, huge, massive Costco shop. You go out and you get your food for the family for the week. All of those little roller carts, I think you know what I'm talking about. They are everywhere. Everybody has them. And, um, and I'm going to see if I can try to catch one while I'm on my stroll here. So we said... No such thing as farm to table because everything is freaking farm to table here. Um, whole food, so you're not getting stuff out of packages. It's all very fresh. Last night we ate, listen to this, we ate in an Italian restaurant. Hey Jackie, um, we ate at an Italian restaurant whose menu is written in pencil every day. Written in pencil because it changes every single day. They get what's fresh at the market and then they make a meal out of it. They have five or six choices. And um, it just cracked me up when I saw that. I thought that was hysterical. So um, here's another thing. Look at this. So people are outside all the time. It's 7.30 and there is no sign that anybody's making a move to go inside people are outside and they walk everywhere walk 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 now the flip side of that 
is there are gyms here, but it seems like many of, much of the population relies primarily on walking and moving their bodies, which in the end, from a scientific standpoint, if you have to pick one or the other, if you have to pick somebody moving their body regularly all day long versus not that and getting an incredible workout in, movement's gonna win 100% of the time from a cognitive standpoint, from a health and fitness standpoint, regular body movement. So people are walking everywhere, everywhere and biking. Cute Spanish girls in their cute skirts and high heels riding to work. So that's another point. So whole food, farm to table, outside time all the time, and um, lots of fresh air, lots of sunshine, which is so great. And what else did I say there? Uh, oh, I got some others. So siesta. Now in Valencia, they don't do siesta quite to the same degree that they did in Sevilla, but everybody takes a break from about five to seven, everything's closed, you go home, you have a little rest, and then you come back, you open your shop back up for a couple more hours, and you're good. So they know how to take a break. And they're not working 14 hour days, they're working six hour days. So very healthy. And see if you can see this. See all those people? out in a cafe at night doing what? Working on community. That's my last point. Community, here, I'll show you this one too. Look at this. People just visiting, neighbors, family, just chatting, 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 and hey, Raul, and spending time together. You see it everywhere, and you see it till late at night. Um, it's not one couple and their kid, it's 10 people. So the idea of community here is extremely strong and incredibly impactful on health. So we talked, no such thing as farm to table because everything's fresh. We talked whole food, not processed. So it's, you know, it is lean meats and fish, it's vegetables. I mean, yes, there's a lot of bread, but it's all made that day with really clean ingredients. And they shop fresh every day. Uh, you buy small amounts, you eat it up, and you go get some more tomorrow so that you are eating fresh every day. There's community, there's fresh air, there's tons of sunshine, um, and it's a shorter work day. So there's something to be said for that, right? We can learn from that. And I think it's a great wellness education that we can get from the Spanish people. Okay, they're so lovely, and we are having such a good time. Cynthia! I got a good group of folks today. It's nice to see everybody. I hope everyone's having a good Friday, wherever you are. And all right, guys, did I just get myself? Oh, I'll show you where we're going for dinner. This is the place with the, um, thank you. This is the place with the menus written in pencil. And we liked it so much that we are going back here. So for those of you that just turned in, turn, tuned in, not turned in, this little hole in the wall is family owned. Italian and I was just saying they write their menus in pencil because they literally make it up every day that's how fresh it is so awesome um, so anyways this is the junk you should know so we're just uh, while we're on the road uh, we are just talking about short little tips short wellness ideas looking at cultural stuff at while I'm around what a great opportunity for me to check in with how people live here and how it's so different and um, and take some lessons back right take some lessons back hey Raul good to see you so um, one really cool thing here in Valencia is that they had a river that ran through the whole city and it silted over and so they were gonna build a big highway and the people fought it and so instead, it is now a 16 kilometer park that is, I think, probably half a kilometer wide. And there are playgrounds and water fountains and science center and music place and so much stuff to do. And tons of little, like, if you've seen those outdoor workout structures that now are popping up all over the place, 
totally full of people every time I walk by, but what it does is it provides this community with a place to be outside, be in community and exercise every single day. So it's so great. So guys, I'm gonna sign off. I am again here in Valencia, Spain. We're here for another week. Then we will be in, 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 in Barcelona. That will be fun. And um, I will definitely tune in from there next Friday. Not though, no, we'll be here next Friday, but the Friday after that, I will definitely tune in. And uh, I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend and enjoy your families, eat whole food, buy it fresh, get outside, shorten your work day if you can in any way. And uh, know that those of you watching live, I have a special love for you. Thank you so much for tuning in when you see my little face yapping. Uh, and for those of you who watch in replay, I do love you just as much. Hi, Juanita. Okay, guys, you have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.